J.D. Vance's story is a compelling testament to the power of personal growth, authenticity, and real-life experience. His transformation from a critic to a vice presidential candidate showcases the profound impact of humility, salvation, and true leadership on the public psyche. Uh, what was it like? Because the last couple of days, well, it's down to two, you and Senator Rubio. What was that like for you? You know, I just tried to enjoy the ride. What an honor to be considered. If it had been Senator Rubio, obviously, Marcus is a good guy. He's a good friend. So I try to just have a good attitude about it. You know, my family's very excited, obviously, asking a lot of questions. I, I will say, Sean, I hope I'm not uh, betraying too many confidences here, but when the president called me today and actually formally offered me to become you know, the vice presidential nominee, which just sounds crazy, um, my son, my seven-year-old son, was sort of making noise in the background. You know, I'm getting so embarrassed. It's like, oh, my God, Donald Trump's asking me to be his vice president. So the phone rings, he calls you, and you're like, okay, this is the call or maybe not the call. Or maybe it's a bad call, right? It's the okay. call. Who knows whether it's good or bad. But then he actually has me put my seven-year-old son on the phone. You think about this. Everything that's happened, the guy just got shot at a couple of days ago, and he takes the time to talk to my seven-year-old. It's a moment I'll never forget. All right. Uh, and what did he actually say? You know, he, he just said, look, uh, I think we're going to go save this country. Uh, I think you're the guy who can help me in the, in, in the best way. You can help me govern. You can help me win. You can help me in some of these Midwestern states like Pennsylvania, Michigan, and so forth. And he said rightfully that we have been very, very close for a long time, but especially since I endorsed you in 2022. And I would not have won that race without Donald Trump's endorsement. And the president's trust then and his partnership since then has been something I value a great deal. Vance's journey highlights the significance of acknowledging one's mistakes and evolving beliefs based on firsthand experiences. His shift in perspective, influenced by witnessing Trump's achievements, underscores a conservative value that champions individual responsibility, restraint, and the support of a leader who aligns with one's vision for the country. The psychological impact of his narrative on the public is profound as it evokes empathy and admiration for his humility and ability to adapt to new information. Stories of J.D. Vance's personal growth and acceptance of Trump as a leader resonate deeply with voters who value stability and strong leadership during turbulent times. These narratives reinforce the idea that people can evolve and adapt, offering a powerful message of hope and resilience. An anecdote where Trump talks to Vance's son humanizes both figures, creating a more relatable and friendly image that appeals to voters. The public's response to Vance's vice presidential nomination reflects his sincerity and aspiration for true leadership. For supporters, his story is a testament to the trust in Trump's vision and the potential for personal redemption. Critics, however, may question the authenticity of his transformation, highlighting the deep divisions in modern political discourse. J.D. Vance's ability to unite supporters and shape public awareness through effective communication is crucial. By emphasizing personal growth and acknowledging past mistakes, he builds trust and credibility among voters. His resilience, adaptability, and commitment to a cause demonstrate the essential qualities of effective leadership. By sharing personal stories, Vance solidifies his position as a reliable vice presidential candidate, inspiring empathy and inspiration through his narrative.